In this video, I'm going to quickly talk about our current repricer. Please note that we have recently created and deployed the new repricing engine. And because of that, we will be updating this user interface to add more options, more strategies, and to allow you to create custom strategies and to make our current repricer to be advanced repricer. So, but today this is how it looks like. So, uh, Arbitrage Hero loads your inventory into the system and allows you to set up certain rules. So, currently you can expand or collapse B2B or business to business prices. Here you can specify your repricing rules. So you can set the price and when you press save, then we will send price update to Amazon. Also, you can change the type of the repricer. You can match buy box, you can match lowest FBA offer, or you can match lowest competitive offer available on the listing. So the idea here was that ideally, when you sell on Amazon, you shouldn't really go into penny wars unless you want to quickly sell all of your inventory. But if you want to sell all of your inventory, I would recommend you to select lowest competitive offer or lowest FBA offer. Because when you are doing your penny war with another seller, then nobody wins actually. They lose money, you lose money, and as a result, you just drive the price quite low and nobody is going to make any money. So I personally don't like going into bidding wars. So this is why at the moment we are only offering the matching options in here. But as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we have created a new engine which can do bidding wars, which can do repricing based on a couple of cents lower than buy box or a couple of cents lower than the low FBA offer, etc. I'm sure that next month we will deploy those changes and you will be able to create your strategies where you will be able to compete and undercut pricing on the listings. I wouldn't recommend doing it, but we are going to add that flexibility for you as well. For now, you can select the repricing type and then you can set your minimum price and maximum price. When you save it, then the repricing will start happening for this item as long as you have it in stock. If you want to disable repricing, then you set this value to blank value, save it and then the repricing will stop for this particular item. For the business repricing, for those who don't know what B2B repricing or what B2B offers mean, Amazon offers you to sell multiple quantities and for that you can specify what they call quantity tiers. You can have five quantity tiers. For example, you want to sell three items for the price lower than the single item, five items lower than three items, etc. So you can put like three. I want to sell, for example, for 14, five. 20 etc then you can press save and we will save the, this pricing for you and we will also send this information to Amazon and obviously you can specify how much you want to sell the single item in the same way you can select the same strategies in here and again in the new version you will be able to create your own ones as well and then you can set minimum and maximum price for each quantity tier here. Then you press save your repricing rules here and it will start B2B repricing for you. So this is how our repricing works. I hope it was useful. Thank you for watching.